Hi, this is Tanya Lux, and today I would like to introduce you to our new AI styles. They're a ton of fun. You can use them with a variety of imagery. I'm going to work with photos for this first introduction. The very first thing that you need to do is come up to the window menu, and we want to open up the photo art layout. Go ahead and launch this. And here, what you will find are all of the photo painting tools. I'm going to go ahead and double click to collapse the clone source. And we're going to work with the AI styles. On the very top, we see some presets here. And we have 12 of them for you to work with. And what we've done with these is to actually set up all of the settings that would be appropriate for the type of image that you're looking to stylize. So here I've got a portrait. I'm going to go ahead and try soft portrait. Now we have both an animal and a human, but we'll go ahead and run this and see how things look here. So it prepares a style and then you'll see it apply to the entire image. But you don't have to stop there. So really the styles are a starting point. If you wanted to then come to all of these sliders, I could say apply a little more strength. What I'm going to do is maybe bump up the color matching. And whether or not you decide to make adjustments to the sliders is really up to you. It also is dependent upon your image and how the original style turns out. So I think this looks pretty good. I'm going to get rid of it accentuated the vein on her forehead here. So let's come up and select. I'm going to grab an acrylic brush and let's see here, maybe just an opaque smooth. And using the eyedropper, I'll sample from her face here. And then I'll just apply a little paint to get rid of that. And what I can do from here is blend it up. I could have possibly just blended to begin with. I'll use just add water and once again maybe size the brush up a little bit and we'll go ahead and blend that in so that's how quickly and easily you can make slight adjustments once the style has been run now i can apply that to the current document if i go ahead up to the file menu which i already did i'm going to revert this and then you can see the original image there so that was a nice subtle painted version let's go ahead and close out of this and we'll try another image. I'm going to open up a landscape. This was an image that I took on my trip in Mexico a while back. And let's take a look again at the presets. So maybe bold architecture. We've got architecture, so let's go ahead and run this one and see what happens here. Now, one thing that I didn't mention on the first image is once you begin to adjust these sliders, Okay, so maybe I want to lower the color match and let it use more of the color from the style. Um, I don't want to smooth the image. I kind of like this effect that's coming out. Once you've made adjustments to the sliders, you can save a preset. So if you really like this end result and you want to use it on all of your buildings, I'll just call this T building, Go ahead and save that preset and now i will have it moving forward so once you take the time to make the adjustments save it you could also take it a step further and go to underpainting if i wanted to saturate the colors even more or play around a little bit more you can do that as well and then apply to the document all right so let's go ahead and close this one out now i'm going to open up an animal to work with so let's grab these beautiful lions and sometimes when I'm working with styles, I don't like to have it apply to the background. I just want it to apply to my subject matter, which in this case is lions and the a little bit of the background there. So grab the magic wand. I held down the shift key to add to the selection. I'm going to add a little bit of feathering to the selection. And we're going to invert it to make sure that we've got the, the lion. And then I'm going to cut and paste them up on another layer. And then for the canvas, we can just go back there. I'm gonna select all and, and delete to clear that out. All right, so we are ready now to go back to the styles and I'm going to choose fabulous animals. 
we'll go ahead and run this. And probably a variety of styles would work on animals. You can always start with the animals to begin with. And there we have it. So there's our stylized lion. Now let's close out of this and we'll finish things up with something that you might not really expect. So we'll go a little bit more abstract. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll zoom in on her right here. And back to the presets and let's see. Let's try absolute abstract. Go ahead and run this on this portrait. This one does just as the name implies. It makes that image much more abstract. You can start playing with the strength and the color matching. So these are brand new AI styles. You have 12 presets, and then you also have options where you can just run the styles without our preset settings. And we'll go into these in some future tutorials. So keep watching.